Good morning besties and welcome to vlogmas day 10. Guess what? I am in my apartment. If you watched yesterday's vlog you would know that when I was ending the vlog I wasn't sure if I was going to be staying at Ellie's another night or if I was going to be getting to come home to my own apartment. Well they made their connecting flight. They ran. I When she texted me saying that they made it, I literally was shocked because I was like, I was like watching the time, I was like, I don't know, I haven't heard from her yet, like I don't know about this, <laughs> but they made it. So, so happy for them because after being away, like who wants to get stuck somewhere and not just like get to go straight to your house, like totally get that. Um. Anyway, so I did go home, I got home around 11.30 last night, slept in, slept a lot. Um. It's 11 20 right now i didn't sleep until 11 20 but this is when i chose to get up um but i'm meeting my parents for br brunch at noon um so i'm gonna get ready right now and yeah i'll show you my outfit i just opened up some clothes that i ordered from old navy i'm hoping something i got will be something i can wear because when i go animal sit places i bring like clothes with me so i'm just like constantly recycling the same outfits because i don't bring my whole closet so i'm really excited to wear something different today so I'm hoping I can wear something new. So anyways, let's go get ready. Besties, forgive me for this awful angle and awful lighting, but my apartment is a mess, so this is where I'm putting you. Outfit of the day. Oh. Outfit of the day. This sweater from Target. New jeans from Old Navy. I'm obsessed. They fit. You never know when you buy stuff online. And, yep, Uggs. So, we're gonna go meet my parents for brunch now. The place is literally like two minutes away, so I'm on time. But let's go before I'm late. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Where are we? Magic's Pizza for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, a pizza place for breakfast, I don't know. <laughs> they have really good breakfast. Hi. What do you have to say to them today? Good morning. 15 days till Christmas. <laughs> Woo! And um, I'm really hungry for breakfast. And I sent them my Christmas list that they were begging for, and no one's opened it yet. So, tell me what that's supposed to mean. Guess I'm not getting anything for Christmas. But a big she gets it. She gets it. <laughs> but a big lump of coal. Hope he's cute. So, hey besties, we are at Sundance, and we're gonna. Hi. Um. Can I get a 24 ounce uh, peach strawberry lotus? strawberry? Yeah, and can that be all sugar-free? Yeah, anything else? Yes, and can I get a 24 ounce pineapple, green apple, pomegranate, Red Bull? Pineapple, pomegranate, green apple? Yes, and can that be as sugar-free as possible? Yeah, the only one that we don't have sugar-free is pomegranate. That's totally fine. Pineapple, pomegranate, and green apple? Yes. Alright, we'll get the sugar for you. Thank you. Ooh. You went down. Anyways, I just had a uh, brunch with my parents. Sorry if you can hear my breaks. My dad says they're fine, but they still make that noise. Um, and I'm I'm not going over to my parents' house today. Normally I do on Sundays, but my apartment is just so messy. Like, I need to clean it. Like, I just need to focus on that today. Um, so, I'm not going over. But they were talking about going to the dollar store. And I was saying how I was looking for this fake snow. Ugh, not them already leaving. Oh my god, I don't know if they see me. I'm gonna wave. Do they see me? Do they see me? Oh, they do! My dad waved at me! Anyways, so my dad went to McDonald's to get himself a Diet Coke. And I was gonna get a drink, so I asked my mom if she wanted one, so I'm getting my mom a drink. Then we're gonna both go to the Dollar Store, so I'm gonna see them again in a second. We're at the Dollar Tree. We're looking for fake snow. Well, I don't know what they're looking for. I'm looking for fake snow. Wait, Daddy, what are you here for? Tell the camera. Well, I'm always looking for Hot Wheels, so yeah. I'm going to be looking for Hot Wheels. But He's... I'm looking for some other stuff. Like what? Uh, a candle. An LED candle is about this tall. Yeah. Oh, okay. What are you looking for? I don't remember. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> I don't. I... I'm quite annoyed with myself because somehow I lost the lens cap to my camera. Long story short, I'm pretty sure there's only one place it could be on the ground outside my car at the dollar store where I was parked. So I'm about to go back and check because 
The case that I ordered for my camera, I only ordered the case because that was the only way to get the lens cap that I wanted. They didn't sell that cap just by itself. So I really want it back. <laughs> I've already ordered a separate lens though that's not exactly the one I want but will do because I want to have a lens cover for my lens. Um, so if I find it, then I can cancel the order because I just placed it on Amazon. But if not, I want to make sure I get one as soon as possible. So we're about to go drive back to the dollar store and check. And that's when I'll tell you a story about something that happened at Magic's. But I thought first I'd show you a quick haul of what I got at the dollar store. So originally I was on the fence about decorating, but I've decided that I am going to. So I got a few extra, few supplemental decorations. I'll probably be decorating tomorrow because today I just have to get my whole apartment in order, which you'll see more of later. Anyways, so I have a regular little Christmas tree, but I got this like mini tabletop Christmas tree. It's just white, okay? And then to decorate it, I got just some gold sparkly ornaments. So there's that. So I don't really do much of a color theme. Whatever I say goes, you know? Then I got this oven mitt that has Santa on it and it says, welcome to the North Pole. And to go with it, I got a matching hand towel. And these will look so cute with the hand towel that I got yesterday that you saw if you watched yesterday's video um, from the bazaar. So then these, these are not um, Christmas related, but my grandma loves these and she got me on them when I was younger and I love them. And I haven't had any in a while, so I think I'll take some of these when I'm like subbing. But it's the tuna salad with crackers, ready to eat, just little containers. These are really good. If you haven't tried them, I recommend. They also had ranch tuna and then chicken. Um, but I can't eat canned chicken anymore because we feed that to my cat. And so now I think of it as cat food. So I, this, I can't eat the canned, little cans of chicken. Um, oh no, I just dropped a clip in the garbage can. Uh, my flower clip. Anyways. But for some reason, tuna doesn't do that for me. I don't know. Next, I got this. It's like a little hanging, um, like, they're like little peppermints. My mom said that it looked like Target logo. So there's that. And then, so my grandma, one of my grandmas called her Grammy. Um, she has passed away. Um, but when she was alive, she had this really cool Christmas display with, like, this little like like ice skating rink and it was like control you like plug it in and like the ice skaters like skate and then they go down the slide all this cool stuff and so I was given it um and so I set it up last year but I just didn't have enough like stuff on the table to make it look nice like it just kind of looked kind of put to thrown together last minute so I want to get some fake snow um but then we were at the dollar store I saw this stuff which I think is what I used last year but I think I only got one bag of it and it just wasn't enough so it's glittered drape. So I have four bags of it. So I'm hoping the four bags will be enough. Again, you'll probably see all of this stuff in tomorrow's vlog because I don't want to clean up my whole apartment and decorate for Christmas all in one day. That just sounds like too much. Too much. And too much content for me to edit. So anyways, um, here's my drink. Pineapple, pomegranate, green apple, sugar free as possible. So good. I'm going to leave this here while we go to the dollar store. Let's go see if we can find my lens cover. Okay, we're headed back to the dollar store to see if we can find my lens cap on the ground. I feel like the odds are not in my favor. But I feel like I would feel stupid if I didn't at least check. So we are going to check. But anyways, I wanted to tell you the story of what happened at Magic's earlier when I was at lunch with or brunch with my parents I started to tell it and then I realized I wasn't gonna have time to finish it and so I didn't want to like rush it so now is a good time as any so we're sitting there and we had already ordered we're just waiting for our food um and my, I'm like talk, my parents and I are talking and I look at my mom and she looks at the door and she goes like she makes this little face like and I was like oh no like what and so I immediately knew someone was coming in that we knew but I figured it was someone I sound so antisocial I figured it was someone my parents knew but like I was just I was like Ugh. like I don't know I was like who is coming <laughs> like I was just kind of like Meh. um anyways so I see this person come up next to me and I can immediately tell they're here for me and I'm like who is this because I'm just seeing like a body right next to me and I'm like who is here and so I turn to face them, and oh my god, I get the biggest smile on my face. Like, I literally, like, not to be dramatic, I literally went, 
Like I was so excited and I gave her the biggest hug ever. Okay, so it's my friend Katie and we met in intermediate school, which at the time where I live, it's since changed. At the time was fifth, sixth, and seventh grade. I think we we met in fifth grade because we were like on the same team, but we um, became friends in sixth grade, I think. Um, and then we were really good friends during intermediate school. Uh, middle school which was only like one year for us and then high school we were still really good friends but we didn't really have any classes together um so we definitely didn't talk and hang out as much but we you know we're always good friends I would say nothing ever like happened um so we're you know always been really good friends but you know things life takes its course and you know you just kind of not even like grow out or grow away from people you just don't have the opportunity to continue growing with them because you don't see them uh, so that was basically us um, but you know we still kept in touch enough um, anyways but anyway so when I sat back down at the table after talking to her for a few minutes my dad was like so how long has it been and I was like since high school <laughs> I was like I might not have seen her since the day we graduated high school and I graduated high school in June of 2019 so, do with that information what you will. It's been a while. It's been a little while. And I don't, I may have seen her since then, like somewhere, but I really can't even remember that. Like, I don't think I have seen her since then. So anyways, we literally could not stop hugging each other and just like, we were so excited. Like her and I are such good friends. It's one of those people that it's like, you can spend so much time away from each other and when you see each other again it's like no time has passed and you're so comfortable with each other like there would never be like an awkward moment kind of thing like it obviously sucks that we haven't seen each other in so long but it's clear that neither one of us has ever questioned the friendship because of that fact like it's clear that we're both very much like we are really good friends even though we haven't seen each other in possibly like four years so them now that I said out loud that sounds crazy um anyways so we were just like really excited talking to each other like we I don't even know what we were saying because we weren't really like saying like updating anything we were just like there's too much to talk about right now like we need to hang out so we're making plans to hopefully hang out on like Tuesday so we'll see hopefully that works out um but I literally I love her so much. Like, she is such a good person. And I, her whole family, like, her family, well, her dad wasn't there. But her mom was there. Her sisters were there. They were so excited to see me and hug me. And so was her mom. Like, oh, my God. I just love that family so much. I love that family so much. Okay. I'm hoping that ugh, there are people parked where I was parked. I don't even know, like, what to do. Like, I'm just going to park here. Was this, Maybe this was where I was parked. I'm gonna park, I'm gonna get out, and I'm just gonna kinda look at the ground. But I don't wanna look suspicious. You know what I mean? Was this where I was parked? I feel like this was. Anyways, oh no, someone's coming out to their car. Because the car that's parked right across from me because they just turned the lights. I can't do it now when someone's watching me because then I'm gonna look really suspicious. So, okay, they're coming out right now. So I'll just wait till they're leaving, but. Anyways, it was literally so good to see her. Like, I can't explain to you how excited we were. I really cannot explain our excitement. Um, it was like a popping car. Oh, their door's open backwards. Interesting. Anyways, um, it was just... So, uh, let me double check my purse to make sure it's not in here. But I know it's not because I looked. Um, anyways, I just love her so much. She's such... A nice person she's such a genuine person too and we had so much fun together like you know when we were younger she was someone that was always just so fun and I'm just really excited that we saw each other because now it's like inspiring us to reconnect because we were saying like it can be hard when you you think about someone and you're like oh I should text them but then it kind of is like a daunting thing sometimes because it's like, oh, you know, it's been such a long time. Like, what are they going to think? And just like, you know, is it, I don't know. It can just be a daunting task, especially when you're like on good terms, because then it's like, once you reach out, you kind of feel bad for taking so long to reach out, but you, but you reached out. So you shouldn't feel bad. It's just one of those things. that's just kind of like hard. I feel like sometimes, I don't know. So anyways, 
Um, I'm gonna get out now and look, see if I can find it. So, I mean, I could just look from right here, probably. begin to have a clue where it could be because I know it made it out of magics because I had it at Sundance I think and I wouldn't have not put the cat back on at magics because that would have been stupid so like it can't be that but then where where was it last? It's not on the floor here. I'm just S O L. S O L. Damn. Well, at least I ordered the new one, so I guess that's good. <laughs> I'm so sad though, it's not gonna come till Wednesday. Amazon's two day shipping really, really is falling apart because. Wednesday is not two days from now. So, interesting. But, we're going to drive back home. That's not what I clicked on. Listen to some music. So, <laughs> and, little stuff in the kitchen <laughs> like what the actual heck <sighs> okay here's my idea here's my game plan this is what I have so far um Okay, for real, for real. Um, I don't want to start by like unpacking all my stuff from animal sitting because that to me doesn't feel like, I don't know. That's just not where I need to start right now. So what I'm gonna do, because I have a ton of Christmas gifts that are either still in packages, whatever. I'm gonna open up all the packages. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to make piles, mostly because, mostly for my parents. I think that's mainly it. I'm going to put everything in piles, and I'm going to use some of the big boxes that I have to help hold my parents' stuff. And I think that'll help clear out a lot of stuff if I have it, you know, whatever. So, besties, I forgot. Also, my package, why does it come like that? I forgot that the package I picked up the other day, I think I told you guys, was a uh, Taylor Swift album. And, oh, what the heck. Okay. Oh, there we go. Taylor Swift album. And one time recently, I bought the red album from Target. And the album, literally was messed up. Like it sounded like a man was singing. So I had to return it. So every time I get a new album, I test it out like immediately, even if I'm not like, like staying at my house because I don't want that to happen again. So I need to test out this album regardless, but I'm gonna listen to this music while I clean. So fearless. Fearless. There are these two little boys outside across the street, kind of near the park-ish like area, and they're on scooters and there's a cop pulled over and he's like talking to them and they're like showing him tricks. And he looks like he just like really cares. 
That's so cute. My camera's about to die, so the time lapse is gonna have to end for now, but I will see you guys later when I make some progress. I, my apartment doesn't look that much better. I have been making progress and I'm back up and going to make more progress, but I did get an, an itch to finish reading The Hunger Games, so I had like 70 pages left, so I did just finish that. I did really enjoy it. I did rate it five stars and I'm excited to read the next one. Um, it's really good. I really enjoyed it, so I'm glad that I read it. Um, so yeah, I just finished it. I need to read four books left this month to meet my goal of the year. So I can read four books in the next 20 days, for sure. So anyways, I'm going to get back to work. Um, look at this kitty looking at me. It's so cute. Hi, hi. That one runs from me, but that's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work again and I changed because I was getting too hot in my sweater, so yeah. It's looking better whether you can tell or not. Got gift boxes over here. A lot has been cleaned up. A lot of my clothes that I've either bought in the last two weeks or just like taken with me animal sitting has been put away. I have one less th last thing of clothes which was um, my laundry that I did at my parents and then just dropped off in the bag and never hung up. <laughs> um, that's all I have left. So <sighs> I'm gonna go hang that up right now. And then all my clothes will pretty much be put away, which I think will feel really good. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, and then also I put something up. So I bought these uh, vinyl like clips to like store them on your wall and a couple weeks ago my dad put two of them up when I only had two Taylor Swift albums. I have five now so let me show you what they look like. How cute and I have room for more. Midnight's is a little off but um you know maybe maybe that's an easter egg from Taylor Swift that she is communicating to you through me so don't look too much into that but what can I say. I finally got all my clothes put away. I haven't been very productive since then, which needs to change because I keep telling myself, you don't just need to finish cleaning tonight. You still have a whole edit video to edit later tonight. So, yeah, but as we speak, I'm in sitting down to have dinner instead. <laughs> I'm having Subway, so. Yeah, I'm sorry if you hear weird running water in the background. That is my Brita filling up. <laughs> um, but besties, I have done it. <laughs> I have done it. Obviously, there are a few other places in my apartment that have things that have just been placed there momentarily. But that's nothing new. They've been placed in places that have had, that are made for that right now. So my main living space, which is what we were concerned about, has been completely transformed. I'll show you a clip of what it looked like again at the beginning, right now, in case you forgot. <laughs> Okay, now I'll show you what it looks like now. Okay, so anything we have that's still sitting here, that is my gift for my friend Anna, and in that box are the books that I have for the favorites thing I'm going to. Those are some decorations that I just bought today, which will be dealt with tomorrow. This is stuff for my camera and then a book underneath. So everything, even though there's things sitting here, they all, they're supposed to be here. And then over here, this is all my gifts compiled for my parents. That thing on the bottom is a gift. And then these two boxes, one is for my mom and one is for my dad. So I need to go through those and see like what I still need to get for them and all that good stuff. But it's all organized and I just can't believe my apartment looks so good right now. I'm very happy. I feel much better so that being said i think i'm going to end the vlog here tonight it's just after or almost 9 p.m so i'm going to start editing this video i don't want to be up super super late editing um so i'm going to try my best to get through it as 
quickly as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I had a great day today. I had a lot of fun with my parents. And I just feel a lot better about my apartment. There's still a lot of things I need to do tomorrow. Like I need to decorate for Christmas. And I need to do a bunch of laundry. And I have some random dishes that need to be washed. But the main part that I was concerned about was just how everything was all over the place. So now that that's done, I feel a thousand times better. And yeah, so I'm going to go get started editing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. Crazy Christmas decorating. Woo! So, yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love for you to stick around. And, yeah, I guess that's everything. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!